had this nice little woman just asked me if I was playing disc golf. I said, yes, I sure am. She was like, oh, okay, have fun. It's good to see that there's still nice people in the world. So, what's up, guys? I'm back here at John's Park in Seminole. You know, the one that I dogged on in the very first disc golf video. Yeah, I'm back. I'm a hypocrite. I know. I'm a sinner. But, no, I'm just looking for hole one because I just figured out that, um there's an on there's like a, a course layout on the udisc app it's like a disc golf app you can find a bunch of courses and stuff but holy crap so i was like dude where is this whole one at there's a basket clear over here underneath this bridge i had no clue this was even here no wonder i couldn't find where the first hole was last time man this would be a tricky throw the heck is in it it's just the color of the basket. Yeah, this is A. Oh, that's funny. I can't believe, I wonder if there's any discs down here. Is there any wasp in there? Probably. No, I don't see any. Okay, cool, I'll throw. Dude, this hole is far. I don't know. Well, I mean, for this course, all these uh, all these uh, holes at this course are like anywhere from like 150 to like 275 feet. They're super short. I don't know how long this is. It probably says on the U disc, but it's a par four, thankfully. So I'm, I'll actually be able to make this. I went kale. I'm pretty sure that's who that was. Not my best uh, first tee, but uh, I guess it could have been worse. I could have threw it on the on the highway up here, but I sure didn't do that. It wasn't far off, but. I think I can definitely get this in four. If I have a really good throw here, I could probably birdie this hole. I'm not gonna birdie it, but I just gave myself a great spot for an easy putt to par it. Pars are fun. I've tried, <laughs> I've gotten myself into thinking that pars are fun. You know, birdies are cool, but man, pars are fun too. All right, there's a the basket and there I am. Moment of, moment of truth. Let's see if, uh, we can't put this putt in. Okay, hold on. Before we do that, we're going to take a look at We Woke a Creek. I remember wrecking in this creek. It was kind of more over there, but fun ride. Wow. This is cool. I don't see any discs. Dang. But yeah. Boy, imagine throwing off in that. I could. I have a pole. So, uh, yeah, we're going to try to make this, uh, I want to, I want to like video this for you guys. All right. So I'm throwing this, uh, Eric McCartney judge by dynamic Discs. It's pretty good. Disc. Let's see if I can uh, land it. Let's see if I can land this. This part. It's probably like, I don't know, 16, 17 feet. Oh, hard the first hole. That's all we can ask for. That's nice. Dispensary case. All right, now we come just right over here. And we're throwing the hole too, this little blue basket here. I want to try to get... Uh, tee off for you guys yeah so i want to get like a tee like a uh, like a tee shot for you guys so uh lord willing this might be a good team probably not though oh yes lay down that's actually a pretty good spot it didn't look pretty but it doesn't have to look pretty as long as it is pretty, right? So not a terrible spot, but uh, gonna be a difficult putt, kind of. Let's go, birdie. We love birdies out here at Johns Park in Seminole, Oklahoma in the middle of the afternoon. We love them. We love Eric McCartney. Yeah, this is my first time playing in the rain. It's just, it's not raining. It's just kind of sprinkling a little bit, but 
it's kind of nice and cool right now it's, it's gonna get humid in a minute but here's this little lady that I was talking to earlier but yeah I gave myself a pretty good setup for a putt for par I messed up my tee shot so I totally just dinked this tree but there's a mando right here so it turned out good that I had to that I hit it and didn't go to the left man I'm these dang tree limbs are getting me. I would have been setting okay if it hadn't been for that limb right there. Brought me right down here. I'd have landed over there somewhere. Now, I'm really stuck because uh, I don't have a shot. Yeah, that little lady, she asked me if uh, she asked me if I had any rolling papers. I was like, uh, no ma'am, I sure don't. <laughs> I must have left them in my other jeans. No. Yeah, part, I mean, uh, bogeyed that hole, wasn't my best, but uh, that's okay. We got 12, let's see, no, 14 more holes to to do good on. Dang, I just had an awesome skip and it hit this tree. That's so sad. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and take my putter out, but I'm going to scuba this throw. So it's something that I've seen on YouTube. It's where you hold the putter like this and you throw it like that. I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna try to video it for you guys too. See how good my first official scuba on a course goes. Okay, so on the line, just didn't get there. Dude, you can bet your bacon that I'm watching out for the wasps on these holes out here. Yeah, man, I'm figuring out that I was playing this course completely wrong. <laughs> I was, I had everything out of whack. But seven, yes, it is seven. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we got that one at a bogey. I like the bicycle wheel. <coughs> Hit you, bless you, Chisholm. Oh, man. All right, on to hole eight. Okay, I was wrong. Some of these holes are super, super long. But uh, it's okay, we're still chunking. Uh, where's my T-bird? There it is, the trusty old T-bird. Shout out to Jeremiah for telling me to get this disc. I would be able to throw uh, a Mamba, you know, which is a disc I was throwing pretty good. But I kind of lost it at the Mekasuki the other day. So, yeah, I got to get another one. Boy, am I in a predicament. All right. Mm, I guess I'll get my pole. All right. Let's see if we can fight this thing through the trees. I'm going to set you guys right here. So you have a, you gonna focus? Hmm. It's gonna have to fight hard. I don't think that's focused, but whatever, you guys get the gist. Well, didn't quite get it. Okay, so like, I'm not trying to brag on myself, but my putting is on today. Like, I've been practicing quite a bit at home on it, and I, I figured out the important thing to do. Um, any wasps? Okay, it doesn't look like it. All right, so, like, the important thing for me to do is, like, what one thing I figured out is, like, what I've been trying to do when I putt, I've been trying to, I've been trying to putt like that instead of taking it and just kind of more or less turning loose of it and letting the disc fly and... One thing I've been doing is I've been just kind of, it's kind of hard to show you, I've just been kind of short arming it, whereas when I extend my arm out whenever I putt, I can get that little bit more distance that I need for the long putts like that one. But man, I'm, I'm bragging on myself. I honestly am because I'm really proud of how I'm putting today. All right, so hole nine is my last hole because I have to uh, go pick cinch up. And uh, but hole nine is that white basket way back there. This is a par four. So it's a pretty good ways, but let's see how I can do. Okay, so honestly, like, why do they even have horseshoe pits? There's no sand. It's all just grass. There's no way you could play horseshoes in that. I don't know. Whatever. Not my business. Oh, no. Man, I was like, oh, wow, man, that's going to be terrible. So I bounced up, and boy, that sucker started rolling, but it rolled plumb over to the hill OB. So that's fun. Yeah, I just ob the last hole, which, okay, so if you don't know, OB means out of bounds. And so, uh, yeah, so I get to look for this thing. It's pro it probably flew all the way down to the creek, if I'm guessing. 
Good day. It didn't go far. Thank goodness it rolled just a little bit. It must have hit this tree right here and just stopped it. Oh, man. No, not the stick tights, man. Uh, dang it. That feels delightful. It's one of the worst parts about disc golf is the stick tights. Okay, now that I've got all these dang stick tights off of me, maybe I can get a throw in. All right. Get out here. Yeah, dude, look at my shoes. They're covered in them. That's going to be a, a whole new game later getting those off. But All right, let's see what we can do. <laughs> eh, could have been better. All right, let's end on a good putt. Let's see what we can't do. Come on, Chismo. All right, Eric McCartney, don't fail me now. All right, moment of truth. Last hole of the day. Big putt. Oh, man. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I don't know. I guess there's, I guess there's worse problems I could have. We'll, we'll take it. Are there a wasp in this one? There was last time, I think. So I think they might've knocked some of the wasps out. Maybe they read my review. All right, guys, with that disappointing finish, See, there I was bragging on my putts, and then I miss it. I mean, I wouldn't say it was a super easy, but it was easy. I missed that. So, if you guys learn any lesson from this video, don't brag on yourself until the game's over. Then brag all you want. I'm just kidding. You now, it's good to stay humble. If we humble ourselves, then uh, if we if we try to exalt ourselves, then we'll be humbled. But if we humble ourselves, we'll be exalted. Boom, hitting scripture on you guys off the top of my head. But so yeah, that was the first, the real first nine holes at John's Park. Not the made up nine holes that I did before. And so, yeah, I'm uh, glad I got to play a little bit. Now it's time to go pick Cinch up and take him back home. He is a, he is probably cut up and he is a good looking little dog. He got a haircut today at Bruce's, so. Well, I guess it's time to go pick him up and and uh, head back to the casa. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm gonna be more moving to Norman Saturday. That's big, and um, they have some really nice courses up there. So you guys will get to see me play some probably some pretty nice disc golf courses up there. I'm excited to to go try them out. So we'll see you guys up there. Uh, God loves you. I love you. God loves everybody, and uh, we will catch you guys later. Peace. Before I close out, I just figured you guys might want to see Cinch with his haircut. Cinch, come here. Show everybody your haircut. Oh, don't you look so good? Here comes a good dog. Cinch. Stand up and we'll leave. Good dog. Oh, here's Cinch. All right, you ready to go? Hop in. Get up there. There you go, good boy.